Zephram Cochran builds the first warp-capable engine on Earth. The Vulcans make contact, and then according to this show, they spent the next hundred years just holding us back. But now, finally, Jonathan Archer gets to go on deep space missions, and he goes out there and they explore, much like the original series and the next generation, but it's earlier, so they have to simplify the technology and try to work in canon and retcon a lot of stuff really oddly and really poorly. Someone writing this hated Vulcans because they are easily the worst characters in the entire show, when they used to be our favorite characters in the entire show on the other shows. And just, yeah, the, the main characters are utterly uninteresting. The, the show is poorly written and repetitive with... Episodes are often drawn out to where they clearly couldn't support 42 minutes. There, were not, there was not enough plot there. So we just have a lot of scenes of nothing really happening. And yeah, several scenes in a row being the exact same. There are horrible characterizations of well-known and beloved species. A lot of the new stuff isn't that interesting. The We have the first female sexy Vulcan, and it's just ridiculous how thoroughly and constantly she is sexualized. And... Yeah, there's not even, it doesn't even appear to be at her own will because she, as all Vulcans, has been paired up since childhood, so she's not trying to attract a mate, so yeah, the ship is encouraging us to ogle at a woman who doesn't realize that what she's wearing might get her stared at. And yeah, the the fourth season is pretty good, almost all at least good. But the finale is terrible, same as the third season finale. And yeah, watching the first three seasons is a really difficult sit. And I, I owned this before I started watching it, and I had determined to watch the whole thing. And if either of those were not true, I probably would have quit even early on. And even if I had stuck out for most of it, the show keeps providing reasons for you to quit. The entire third season is one long arc, which does not have enough material for an entire season, so it just... it's full of filler and pointless one-offs and just... Yeah, the show is bad. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.